G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome back aboard the HMAS Rankin Collins class diesel electric submarine of the Royal Australian Navy. Still in the South China Sea, still trying to escape the area. Looks like we're about to get an auto update here. Con sonar, Sierra Some 2 merchant. is classified thought so as to be able to hear that clearly from behind. Although we do have the tow to ray out, so Sierra 1 Come is left two, going to be two, our target nine, here. One, helm I. And it looks like we have a mean. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. Range to target. 5-7 if this is accurate. That's 600 feet. Hmm. Come right to Turn zero, in. zero five helm I. Let's have a little bit of fun with this one. I'm going to actually see how close we can get to this Ming. Yeah, we're going to see how close we can actually get. So current range estimate is 5.4. It's quite possibly not that close. Noise in the water is 81 decibel. <clears throat> Sorry, a little bit of a uh, frog in the throat there. We do have a duct, but it's so shallow that it's almost unusable. And enemy submarine is at about the same depth as us. So I'm going to bring out to a matching line with theirs and see how close we can get. Alright, so, we do have a confirmed ID on the Ming now, we're at 95% solution, and we do have a confirmed range, we're currently at 3.5 kiloyards, so I'm actually going to pull the speed all the Ming way back here at the moment, down to 3 knots. Ming turns for 3 knots, maneuvering eye. Still maintaining six. Guns maneuvering, making turns for three knots. All right, we are so close right now. If it was to ping actively, we would be identified instantly. We're close enough. We have one on passive. Anything above five, and we're up to three. <clears throat> yeah, anything above five is pretty likely they've got us. I'm actually going to go Make to full turns stop. For zero knots, maneuvering eye. Should be able to see one another from here. 3.2. It should be nearly right in front of us. Three point one. Passive detection is at two. Enemy speed is at 8 knots. Passive pickup is at 3. Still holding 3 kiloyards, should be down to 2.9 in just a second. There we go, 2.9. Conditions, we are still at approximately the same depth. All right. 
right, distance update. We are at 1.9 kiloyards. Enemy is still maintaining eight knots. There are passive five. So anything higher now, passive eight, there we go. They should be starting to hear us. Although they won't be hearing anything machine noise, and we are running silent, so they won't be hearing anything moving around, but the actual sound of the ocean moving across the hull, even though we're not moving, should be audible now. Fluctuating between 6 and 7, they're still maintaining 8. We're at 1.8. I've already got tube 1 prepped, so we're going to snapshot at point blank range and just send the torpedo live. Go to flank, and I'm going to dive directly towards them, is the plan. We're going to go for a thousand feet, turn hard left, and go straight underneath them. At this range, we should be able to cross into their baffles faster than they can react. It's uh, just a question whether or not we'll get away from their torpedoes before they, uh... <laughs> before the torpedoes lock on and kill us. Point eight, can we actually see them? We should be able to see them. They are... So slightly deeper than us but they should should be just here Oh, the Ming just went active. It's 1.3 kiloyards. It's starting to turn. We Con can sonar. upset. Launch transit yep. from Sierra it's detected one. us. Shoot two, one. Snapshotting, I... going to flank. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra 1. Make depth 1, zero, zero, zero feet. Die by. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing. Torpedo's already eight, acquired. Three. Con sonar, new contact, bearing. Two, two. My decoy's nine. out. Why is broken? Sierra, three. Con sonar, lost contact. Sierra, two. Last bearing. Con sonar, torpedo in the water. Torpedo yep, in the dive, water. Full bearing dive, full two, dive, full dive, full dive. Five. Passing 800 feet. Passing 900 feet. Cut. Con, knuckle formed. Passing 1,000 feet. Oh, we just escaped that. Passing 1,100 feet. Con, sonar, torpedo in the water. Shit. Torpedo in the water. Bearing, two, seven, one. 1,100 is not really what we're Con, after here. fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra two bearing one zero Going six. To the surface passing twelve hundred feet. Go! Oh, we went a lot deeper than we should have. Two one ready. Passing eleven hundred feet. All right, we've thrown it. Passing one thousand feet. That was our torpedo Con turning back on us. Formed. Passing 900 feet. Now hopefully it'll turn back around and pick up the, uh... Con sonar regained contact. Passing 800 No, feet. it went the wrong way. Oh, no, it's going to turn back. Hopefully it'll turn back Passing and detect the mean. Passing 700 feet. Passing 600 feet. We seem to have gotten above. Con sonar lost. Passing 500 feet. Passing 400 feet. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra One. Passing yeah, torpedo feet. seems to be a re to have reacquired Con the mean, which is good. We are cavitating. Passing two hundred feet. <laughs> are we going to bust the surface? Passing I'm not even going to bother. Feet. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Con 
Got it. Sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, four, zero. 150. Feet. Step one, five, zero feet, dive by. And let's sit up here on top. <laughs> well, you can't say I didn't make that more entertaining than normal. So what was that? I'm going to have to recheck and see exactly how close we are when we fired. I think we're at 1.1 kilo yards. Although I'm kind of surprised we couldn't actually... Kind of surprised we couldn't actually see the Ming, even on the 3D view, from that range. There we go. We're back under the water again now. Torpedo tracking. And that's looking pretty good. Con sonar lost contact. Ooh. Sierra, one. Last bearing, two, three, zero. Contact breaking up. All right. Well, that made for a... Uh... <laughs> an interesting start to things. Yeah, we should we should probably head north. Come now. right to zero zero <laughs> four helm I. All right. So after action report, one Ming sunk, two thousand one hundred and ten tons. One torpedo fired, eight thousand four hundred and forty experience gained, and uh, a slightly more exciting encounter than we've had recently. <laughs> No, not my current mission target, I'm aware. All right, let's hope we can actually get out of the South China Sea this time. Well, welcome to the Philippine Sea. We did get out of the South China Sea at least. We're a little bit west of Okinawa at this point in time. And China really, really does not want us getting into this mission zone. We've been intercepted by yet another submarine group. And it looks like another single as far as I can tell. Or at least we haven't detected anything else at this time. Hopefully something it's well, hopefully it's something with a little bit more substance. Ah, Han. Con sonar, Sierra 1, is All classified right. as submerged submarine. 8.8 .8 kilo yards. You know what, I'm just going to lob a torpedo straight out. Shoot 2 1, aye sir. We're at 600, let's change depth to 150. Make depth 150 feet, dive by. It's 130, we're gonna have to go to 100 feet. That's okay. Make depth 100 Take feet, advantage of this small little whale. We've got a little, a very weak layer and a weak duct, but we can take advantage of it here. There's, it's only 81 decibels in the water, so it's not particularly, not particularly loud. So anything that we can use to actually help us hide is much appreciated. Torpedoes at about the right depth for the Han, at least as we understand it at this point. Now we're reading at 8.5 kilo yards, but he didn't hear us. So, although it is a Han, so that's not saying much. But I suspect it's probably going to be a little bit further away. So I'm going to get the torpedo off the side here, and then I'm going to cut back in after we've passed... Well, we should probably watch it a little bit and see what its direction of travel is. Because that will make a difference. Yeah, it looks like it's heading northeast. Yep. Yeah, it's heading northeast. So I'll let this get out. Let the torpedo get roughly eight kilo yards out, and then I'll make a turn southeast. And once I've passed the 90 degree point on the direction of travel of the Han, we'll turn the torpedo in. torpedo in start heading towards the Han 
And this is actually one of the challenges of the South China Sea campaign. Uh, I've discussed this in the comment sections, I think I've mentioned in videos before. The South China Sea campaign, the actual submarine you're facing, unless you run into the, the Russian submarines that China has enlisted into their surface, uh, things like the Victor 3 and so on, Unless you run into those, the actual difficulty of the submarines you encounter in general isn't overly high. What you do tend to encounter, even the numbers isn't overly difficult, but what you do tend to run into with the South China Sea campaign that makes it difficult is the actual terrain itself, which is something you do not think of as a general rule when you're actually playing a submarine game. The, ter the terrain? What would the terrain matter? The majority of the area you're engaging in is islands. So actually navigating around the map is difficult. The entire map is covered in bottlenecks that one or two enemy units in an area can completely block off your ability to travel. There's also lots of units. The actual group numbers for surface fleets are ridiculously high. Submarine fleets are less, but there's a lot of single units moaning around to constantly chew up your ammunition coupled with the difficulty of navigating the map. And then there's the challenge of the actual terrain itself from a tactical perspective. All, most of the oceans being close to shorelines that you have to operate in are incredibly shallow. Things like the, uh, the, the East China Sea. It's, uh, as I've called it many times, it's like fighting in a bathtub. The South China Sea anywhere near the islands is incredibly shallow but it does have some deep drop-offs but you can actually get multiple depths of terrain on one section of the map um, if you remember the very first time I did this campaign which I did in the Seawolf when it first released before I was doing modern cold waters the final engagement I actually managed to defeat an enemy torpedo by going behind terrain and letting the torpedo slam into the ocean floor not by getting it to overcorrect itself, but literally hiding behind an undersea mountain. This is stuff that you don't readily run into in the other campaigns because it tends to be deeper water, unless you get into some, get really in close to the shores, particularly off northern Europe. It tends to be deep pretty much everywhere, and you tend to have some pretty defined thermal layers that you can take advantage of as well. Um, again, here, not so much. So, the terrain is actually the challenge of this one. Uh, and, and the sheer volume of crap that can be thrown in your general direction. So this is going to be Torpedo 4 that we've fired, just taking out, essentially, trash targets, simply trying to get out of the South China Sea and get into our objective zone. We're still not there yet. Torpedo has acquired the Han, and it looks like we've acquired it in its baffles, although it is pinging, it is making a racket, and it has sped up, so I think it's aware that something's going on. Has not fired, though. No countermeasures. Signature. Yeah, it's active, can't detect us directly. It's definitely trying to bug out. It's at 25 knots, which I'm pretty sure is the Han's flank. Put it up. Han. Top speed, yep, 25 knots. So it is at flank at the moment. 21. It's actually. No, it's slowing down, making a turn. That's a big mistake, I wouldn't have done that. Noisemaker there we go. One, it's five, aware it's under five. attack. Noisemaker's deployed. Come on, torpedo, reacquire. No, that's completely thrown it. It's not even trying to reacquire target. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. There we go. Con sonar, noisemaker, uh, bearing. Too little, too one, late. Five, five. Con sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, one. Five, five. Contact breaking up. 
Now, I'm not 100% sure here, but I do believe somebody said in the in the comment section of one of the last videos that there was only five Hans built. This should be our fifth kill. So China shouldn't have any more of these. All right, so report. Han sunk, 5,500 tons, 22,000 experience gained, and crew proficiency increased. And this will not be our mission objective. We've still got to head further north. One. <sighs> and just like I was saying a moment ago, part of the difficulty level in the South China Sea campaign is just how much shit the Chinese will throw at you and once again here we go we've moved all of about six inches from the last engagement and here we are again and looks like they built more hands than anticipated Con sonar, Sierra got another one, one. Is classified as this is actually submarine. probably the it's, this is actually slightly frustrating because these encounters two, aren't zero, difficult four, three, but they LMI. could be if there was more than one submarine in any given group. But there's not, because Chinese submarines only operate in singles. So... Depth one, zero, zero feet, dive by. Even the Collins will shit all over these things. Range to target, 20 kill yards, estimated signature. Yep, we have confirmed Han. Marking location. Which direction are you heading? It looks like you're heading south. South, southwest, or just south? South, southwest, slightly. Con, dive at one, zero, zero feet, dive by. Actually, almost directly south. Almost directly south. Okay, we can work with that. Shoot two one. I sir. Torpedo array. All right, torpedo is going active. Changing depth to drop it out Con of sonar. the duct. Sierra one is cavitating. Yep, as soon as we get through the duct, the torpedo was immediately detected by the Han. We got a strong layer and a strong duct, then we probably could have got that torpedo Con even sonar. closer. Noise maker had bearing. No three, idea two, that torpedo three. was coming in until it was already in detection range. Con fire control weapon acquired. They're already within the torpedo's acquisition range. She is. Torpedo tracking true. Hans of 23 knots Con in sonar. maneuvering. Noise maker bearing. Three, two, three. Fire control, weapon acquired. Torpedo back on target. Con sonar kill. lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, three, two, three. Contact breaking up. So Han, six of five sunk. Nice. All right, let's see whether or not we can actually get up past Okinawa and actually into our objective zone. All right, another Han sunk, another 5,500 tons, and another 22,000 experience. We are down to 12 Mark 48s, which is still more than enough for what we actually need, but we're getting whittled away here. After this next, uh, after we finally find our main mission objective and take out this wolf pack, we might actually have to head back to Guam again. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gents, uh, I think this time, yeah, I know it wasn't the mission target. I think this time we might have to bring this one to a close, and we'll uh, continue this mission in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one, and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning to the channel very soon, and uh, until next time, take care.